Hi, welcome. I'm so stoked about today's video because I've been really wanting to have a new profile picture for a really long time now. And I'm like, I don't know what to do because I've just had this like ugly pink picture and it's gone through different shades. Like <laughs> me changing my profile picture was just changing the shades. Like for Halloween, I made it red and originally it was lighter pink and then I put it to darker pink and I thought pink was like a really cute color. And admittedly it is, but I want something a little bit more fun. So I'm gonna show you my inspiration and I'm gonna show you the practice pictures that I already took and edited. And then today I'm gonna take some official pictures and hopefully they're nice enough to be my new profile picture. You know, we're, I don't know. I think it's gonna be really fun. I just think there's a few little things we need to work out, but essentially, when I saw ATZ's album trailer, I saw them in front of like this old school blue background and they were taking graduation pictures, right? And I was like, I need to recreate that. That is so much fun. I put like a scrunchie in my hair. I had my glasses on, these glasses, and I took a picture and it was honestly pretty cute. So this is what it looks like. So the issue is it's not, it's not my favorite. So first of all, I will, take I won't put I won't be putting a scrunchie because I feel like it's going to get lost within how small the picture is going to be so I'm not going to do the scrunchie I think this hairstyle is going to be fine or I won't I'll just take them out I don't really know yet I'll try a few different things the background doesn't matter because I'm just going to photoshop it and I want to like cheesy smile like that I think it's going to be really cute so I could actually do this right here I'm going to change my shirt to something much lighter because I realized I'm wearing like a light blue shirt. It's not light. <laughs> like a gray shirt in this picture. And it looks totally black after editing it. So I'm going to try to find the lighter shirt that I have. So these are my options. I guess we're going to go with gray. <laughs> this is obviously not ideal. Because it's still pretty dark. But I have literally nothing. <laughs> I have nothing else. Maybe we could Photoshop something. I'm gonna try my hair a few different ways. I'm not even gonna take pictures. I'm literally just gonna film this, do some poses and then edit. <laughs> I really don't think we're gonna be able to see that. <laughs> I'm pretty awkward. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see how well that, my cheeks hurt from smiling. So I've never smiled so much in my life. So we're gonna put that on my computer and then we're gonna take some screenshots and see which ones work, which ones don't. And if not, we're gonna come back another day. So it's been a couple days, maybe a couple weeks. I don't know, time isn't real. But essentially, I'm setting up for a different video. We're on a time crunch here, my friends. Now everyone left a comment asking, you know, why didn't you just take actual pictures? That's a lie, this video hasn't been uploaded yet. Here's the thing, I'm going to edit this picture to shit. I'm going to add grain to it. I'm going to add like VHS effects. I'm going to tear this picture down to make it look super retro. So I was like, why would I take actual pictures, like actual high quality pictures when it, it's gonna look shitty anyways? It's gonna look like it actually came from the 90s. So I picked out all of my screenshots and then I started picking, you know, which ones were too similar and which ones I really liked. And I ended up with, I think, two or three options. So then I started editing them. I wanted like a smart edit tool that would just cut it out for me automatically. That obviously did not work. Maybe if I had a green screen, I should have gotten a green screen. I think it would have been a lot easier, but you know, make do with what you have. So then I ended up with these two options and I hated them. I thought there was something weird about them. Like they looked odd. So then I, I went back to the original because I did like the scrunchie and I started playing with this. So after all of that, I decided to go with the original actually. This is the final product. I started playing with the colors and everything and I'm not sure about it. This is not, you know, what I was trained to do. <laughs> This is, <laughs> but I think it's cute. So I tried it out on TikTok. I tried it out on my Spotify. Just to like see what it looks like, just to see if I liked it. Let me know what you think. I think I'm gonna start changing it on my social media profiles. I don't know, it depends on if people actually like it. Cause like, I can't tell. Like if I look at something too much then I don't really understand it anymore. There's actually more to this video. I locked my keys. <laughs> in my basement so I wanted to go down there and show you my little setup I got like a couch down there and then I wanted to unbox ATZ's albums uh but like <laughs> I don't know how 
Because I locked my keys in the basement. Like, I don't know how to get in the It's locked and the keys are inside. And I need to tell my mom, I think she's gonna be really mad. I'll take you along and then we'll see if we can get it unlocked. And then if I can, then we'll do the AT's unboxing. <laughs> Hello. 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 How's it going? I don't know. You're scaring me. Why? <laughs> Why would I scare you? Because <laughs> you're a little peppy and you're asking me how's it going. So. I just have a silly question. Oh, what? If hypothetically one of us, you know, I'm not pointing any fingers. <laughs> You know, there's no blame to be had. You know, I, you know, if you told me this, I wouldn't get mad at you. So, you know, uh -oh, uh -oh, just. Okay. <laughs> Kevin, I'm sure okay. I don't care about anything else. The dogs are fine. If hypothetically one of us were to accidentally, very innocently lock the keys in the basement. Oh boy. What would we do about that? We managed to get into this room and I don't feel comfortable explaining how. So let's just leave it at that. So I can finally show you my new little basement setup here. It's not completely done. I do want to change things up a little bit. I want like an early 2000s theme. But basically here's my little couch. It's from Ikea. And I have a Pendleton blanket here from Costco. And then I also have a Squishmallow. I've never had a Squishmallow before, but damn. <laughs> I guess as the name suggests, it's really fun to squish. And it's Hello Kitty also from Costco. Then here I have my desk, of course, and this is where I do all my photo card stuff. I also have another table that's white where I do some filming for this channel as well. But yeah, this is like the basic setup. I also have some funky lights. So I'll show you that. This lamp was actually thrifted and then these lights are from Amazon and it comes with this remote. But yeah, since we're finally able to get down here and I can film, let's finally do the AT's unboxing. Even though I know you saw them in the background of my video when I was filming earlier. So yeah, it's already filmed. <laughs> I just wanted to make a fun little transition. But yeah, let's get into that. Hi, welcome. Today we're going to be unboxing AT's Zero Fever epilogue. So I ordered them from K-Town for you. So I got these pre-order cards that I'm going to show you. We're in wide angle right now, but let us adjust a little bit. So these are the three pre-order cards I got. I got Yuno, Hongjung, and Dongo. So I was really lucky for two Ho in the pre-order cards, but I don't collect pre-order cards, so I will be trading them for limited cards. But let's go. I have my surgical knife that uh, is going to help me here. Oh, look at these beautiful colors. If you were to ask me which version is which, I absolutely have no idea. So I'm going to go with the yellow one first. Are these upside down? Some of them are upside down. This one's not upside down. I honestly wish they would write down which version is which on the album itself. But anyway, so here we have it. It says, standing on the edge of where our confusions have led us, we are gathered here. The tears and sweat we have shed back to a river and it pulls us to this vast world. Can we find it? Wandering around with this unknown fever, we now rise towards a new path to a place where I can find myself, to a place where our treasure lies. Desire, obsession, fear, hesitation, self-hatred, trauma, frustration, distortion. Do a little bit of surgeries, don't look. So here we have it. Let's open this, we have a teenager Z. It looks like it's shiny. Start from the bottom here. So we have the CD, that looks pretty cool. Then of course we have stickers. By the way, do you guys do anything with the stick? I was like, mutt, 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 what? <laughs> I, I get it now. That's how they spelled it in the Romanized version, the real. But does anyone do anything with the stickers? I certainly don't, but I'm also scared to use them. I already know I pulled Yosan because it says Yosan in the back. Let's just take a look since we know already. Pew. <gasps> Ooh. So we have Dongle and Yosan here. These are pretty. So I'm going to guess i'm gonna go ahead and guess this is the limited and this would be the regular i'm not too sure i honestly haven't even looked at what i want to collect for this era 
But these are pretty cute. So this is what we pulled for this album. And this is gonna be a whole ass surprise for me. I don't even know what to expect in terms of photos, what they're gonna look like. Passion Young Fever. Oh, okay, I've seen some of these. These are kind of like the teaser pictures, right? I love the photoception. Does that make sense? So we have home zoom. They added little freckles. Do you see? They definitely added freckles to the members, which I think is really cute. <gasps> Look at that. Oh yes, I've definitely seen these before. The blush and the freckles are definitely cute. Everyone has been clowning him with this hat. I'm in love with all of the memes. Then Song Weong, Yo Sang, and Mingyi. So there we have it. Now let's go through the photo book. I like this retro style. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, I love this hair. And we have the freckles again. I love it. You know, with his blush. That background is just so cool. The Polaroids are cute too. Does he have a tie as a belt? Do you see that? Hmm. Ooh, I love this outfit. I'm not big on plaid, but I think it's a really nice outfit. Then we have Sam. This is very reminiscent of their styling in Say My Name. Do you remember they had these kind of safety pinned papers on their clothing as well? Leather pants and leg warmers. That's definitely a look. Magliano Forever. Is that... Uh... Is that high fashion? I think my friend sent me a post that that shirt is like a thousand dollars or something. I don't mean to skip Jonah like that. <laughs> is that Louis Vuitton as well? Very expensive. The basketball. And then that's it for this photo book. So now we're going to open the green one. <laughs> Here we have it. I do want to say, I don't know if you can see the, the texture is definitely reminiscent of like maybe a 90s yearbook. Pretty fancy. So here we have it. Let's do the photo cards. Oh, this is different. I got Uyong and Yosang, Yosang again. These are different, I would say. They definitely give off more retro vibes. These are the backs, Uyong, and then I believe this will make up a kind of globe. I think it'd be interesting to see them together. Okay, so this is the diary version. Let's go through these pictures. I remember these as well in the teasers, I believe. cut through that album my goodness could you imagine let's show you the cd so here's the cd i like this it's pretty like monochromatic i pulled yosang again <laughs> so i pulled yosang again and you know fancy i pulled three yosang photo cards so to be honest i might only collect just one page for this because I feel like the outfits are very similar. And I think it might be, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. We'll go through everything later, but this is the one Uno photo card. Come on, focus. This is the one Uno photo card I pulled, <laughs> aside from the pre-orders. But there's something charming about these cards. I don't know, we'll go through it at the end of this video to see. So here, this is very reminiscent of Inception, right? Hongjoon, Sola, Beaver. Yeah, especially with the desks and everything. I think someone put the two pictures side by side of Inception and Epilogue.
Voila! So that is basically it. Actually, we're gonna go on my phone right now and look and see if anyone made a template so I can see what I would like to collect. I think just based on the whole school theme, I think I'll only collect one. Tees, fever, Twitter might be a better place to go, right? Yeah. Okay, 18 a Alice, always coming through. <laughs> I'm seeing very similar looking pictures, like a lot of suit and tie type deals. I have this one, which is version Z. So these ones are indeed the uh, regular ones. So this is limited. Limited. Not limited. Not limited. And limited. So let's just look. Let's look. So limited here. Hmm. These are kind of charming though. Like the ones where it's not necessarily selkas and it has like an older look to them. They're definitely charming. Do you guys remember Fever Part 1? They weren't taking the pictures themselves. So I kind of like that. Otherwise, hmm. I might actually collect these two. We'll see. Because I like how charming these are. But I also like... You know the pictures that they took themselves that's basically it for this video thank you for joining me bye